Let me say this about the video. It's like reading a book on a, on a computer screen, right? I need to read a book so that I can mark the pages, that I can go back and read it again. I need to have a physical record of something. We live in a world where the physical records are important. I, don't, I, I cannot read a book on the computer screen. I cannot read a building on a computer screen. I have to go there. If life were only a computer screen and I sat in my house, I would be a very dull boy. Look, what, a, what a video and computers can't do, they can't cook, they can't make good food, they can't make good wine, uh, and they can't make good sex. They can simulate sex, but not the real thing. So in order to experience life, you cannot do it on a video screen or on a computer. You people who think they can design on a computer are wrong, all right? You have to design with a pen or a pencil on a piece of paper. Uh, my kids who work in my office push computer uh, mouse around and they connect a dot with another dot. That's awful. That's a terrible life. And what we're doing to young architects, forcing them to sit in front of a computer screen eight, ten hours a day, is a terrible waste of human uh, energy. Uh, better not to have the computer. For me, common ground meant taking something from history that was important, a Piranesi's plan for Campo Marzio, and giving it to three different architects, an architect of my age, an architect 20 years younger, an architect 40 years younger, and asking them to write a commentary in architecture about what they felt about this drawing. That to me is about what common ground is about. Many others uh, were showing other things and that's what everybody's individual theme, that's what makes a Biennale. The theme, common ground, was enough to give everybody a possibility of interpreting it in their own way. I interpreted one way, David might have interpreted another way, uh, as did many different architects. But uh, it's not for me to say what the interpretation should be. There should be a lot of interpretations. What I miss in the Biennale is in 1976, there was the first Biennale organized by Vittorio Gregotti. And in that Biennale, there was a whole day where all the architects, 26 architects who were invited from Europe and America, had a debate. Uh, and that debate concerned the issues of the day in 1976. To me, that was a memorable time. Uh, Aldo Rossi was there, Bob Venturi was there, Hans Hollein was there, Ungers, Sterling, uh, everybody from Europe and America was there and had a chance to debate. And I think, to me, that debate is uh, over what's going on is missing from many of the recent biennales. Okay, Cosi? Thank you. Thank you.